When people think about travelling, they think it's book a flight, pack your bags, get on the flight, go to the beach and have a great time. For the most part, it can be like this, but the reality is that sometimes plans just don't go the way that you want them to. So in this video, you're gonna see why traveling in Thailand during COVID just isn't as simple as it seems. Hello again, YouTube. Welcome back to a new video. Unfortunately, it is our last day in Bangkok due to some reasons which I'll get into later on in this vlog. Because it's our last day, we thought we'd try something which is very well known here in Thailand. So I'm going to take you there now and show you what it is. Banchan! Banchan. <laughs> the famous banchan. What is it? It is just a fast food kind of thing, but it's very busy and famous in Thailand. So they do What's chicken. it known for? Chicken. Chicken. Spicy chicken. Yeah. As far as we're concerned. You're not going to have a spicy chicken no, though. Have a <laughs> so we just actually realised that it's Korean chicken. It was actually made in Busan, South Korea, which is cool. But it is really, really popular in Thailand, isn't it? Yeah. So, we're trying it in Thailand. KFC, Korean fried chicken. <laughs> What did you go for? Um, I just went for chicken thighs, I prefer thighs, I went for the um, garlic and soy sauce. Is it nice? That's good. What's it taste like? It's, like? it's really nice, the fried. Is it better than KFC? Yeah, I would say it's like better quality. It feels okay. like a good quality stuff. Cool. Feed me the chicken. What did you say? That does feel nicer. The sauce is good too, but it's not too too much sauce. No, it's nice, isn't it? It's a good amount of sauce. So you also get these with it, and I have no idea. <laughs> Pulled it off the table. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like some sort of melon. It smells like pickles. I don't know what that is, but it's that don't taste good. Do you want to try it? No. Say it is a fast food, it's not super cheap and it's actually really good quality. So I wouldn't say it's really fast food. Well, like, yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Obviously it's fast food, but it's not fast food. But yeah, really delicious, tasty. It's faster than most foods. Faster than most foods in Thailand. Just Instead of fast food, it's faster than most foods. <laughs> you think you're smart. I am, come on. <laughs> think. Okay. How much was all that food? Uh, 515 baht. Which is? Uh, 11, 12 pounds. Really? 16 dollars. More pricey than your typical Thai fast food kind of stuff. But definitely worth it quality is good yeah really good quality if you're staying in the from pong area which i would highly recommend then i would recommend to come to this food court it's in emporium um shopping mall and it's just down the escalators because there's so many different food places to choose from the variety is insane and the food is really good down there and a variety of different prices as well. So now we are just going to go back to the hotel, do a bit of work and get ready to fly to Phuket. Ready for Phuket? Let's go babe. Woo. Yes please. Yes please. The taxi was 300 baht to get from Prompong to the airport. Um, we jumped in a grab and just made sure that they paid, um, that they put the meter on because we got quoted 500 baht, but it was actually 300. So that's a bonus. We've made it to the airport. It's currently five past five, and our plane comes, our plane leaves at six. So we've got 55 minutes to get checked in, 
run through security and get on the plane and I'll see you on there. So they've told us that to go from Bangkok to Phuket you do need a vaccination certificate. Obviously we're not vaccinated so we need to take a test. So we've had to cancel this flight because it's basically boarding right now. We've got to go down to floor one in the airport, get an ATK test, then go and pay another £25 to change the flight to the 7 o'clock flight. The first flight was only actually 20, like £20. So we're not spending loads but it's just super annoying that we have to do this in order to enter Phuket. I know you're probably thinking she's usually on top of all the updates that happen in Thailand and I knew that you needed a test to go to Phuket but it was just such a last minute trip, everything was stressful, it completely slipped my mind. Don't judge me, we all make mistakes. So for an ATK test, which is what we paid for, so the rapid flow, it's 550 baht each. I'm just hoping that the results come back within 25 minutes because then we can get the next flight otherwise we're gonna have to get the one after that which is eight o'clock so there is luckily two more flights that we can catch so we're definitely going to Phuket today we just need to get this flipping test done to get there and pay out more money to change the flight and to get the test inconvenient but it is what it is we're negative we both tested negative thank the Lord Jesus Christ now we're going back upstairs to book that seven o'clock flight see you there I've been traveling for like two years now and never have they actually stuck to how much like your hand luggage weighs. We travel with hand luggage, both of us, always. So this is the first time with Vietjet Air that they've actually weighed our suitcases, mm. our hand luggage suitcases. And because they were, what were they over? Like by three kg over? They were meant to be seven kg, but one of them's Two 10. Kg. We've got to pay 1,100 baht for the extra kilos. Don't recommend or don't think I'll be flying with these guys again. So the moral of this story is yes, you can fly domestically within Thailand. The rules are changing all the time. So I would highly recommend to do your research, be prepared and don't make the same mistakes that we did in this video. After a long and stressful day, we made it to Phuket and to reward ourselves. Well, I say to reward ourselves, but we eat this quite a lot. We're having a massive curry yum 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 Ooh, that food was very much needed belly is very much full so I guess we better speak about the reason why we've decided to leave Bangkok and why we've decided to come to Phuket the reason why we came back to the islands or Phuket is because well first of all we went to Bangkok solely for one reason which was to do some shopping uh, so we completed that task um, we also had a really good night out in Bangkok which is something I wanted to do <gasps> I went and seen some interesting bars that was a very fun night and exactly what we kind of was looking for yeah. so it was nice to like let some let, your let, you, let yourself go a little bit <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah we've left uh, Bangkok because well I just feel like it's a little bit too crazy for us. I think Sky and I are more, you island know, vibes. We're more, yeah, we're more island vibes. We, um, it was just a bit hectic and we like couldn't, we didn't feel like we could build like a routine there. And um, there was just a lot going on. And I don't like not having a motorbike as well. Oh so, yeah, that was another thing. Obviously, Although the when metro you, was super convenient and easy yeah, to use, just, but then it's then you, different. You still got to walk to the metro. <laughs> Basically, we're lazy yeah, we don't like and we like convenience. <laughs> yeah, it's more convenience. Island life is more convenient. Island life is just the best. You know, ordering food and stuff like that isn't something we like to do. We like no. to go out for food and that means that every, you know, whenever you need to go out for food, you have to walk and it just takes a long time out of your day. And yeah. But we had fun and yeah. we're looking forward to exploring more of Phuket. So yeah. stay tuned for the Phuket vlogs, of course. And as always, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can at Sky Samuels. You can join my Facebook community group in the, there's a link in the description box below. And as always, if you need any help on getting to Thailand, then you can contact me using the link in the description box. Now tell them what to do. Tell them what to do. Oh, is this the end of the vlog? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> in that case, click that button, um, <laughs> click the subscribe button, the red one, down. <laughs> <laughs>
below. Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> somewhere around. My yeah, arm's aching. Just say goodbye. And um, also, stop talking. Follow my Instagram. <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>